Have you ever had experiences where um, it feels like the universe is talking directly to you? I'm sure most people can relate in some way. Um, sometimes it just happens and, and we can easily laugh it off. But but sometimes, you know, maybe maybe there's a, a reason for it or maybe... Maybe it's not something to just be laughed off. Maybe it's it's important in some way. You know, I, I was watching a um, a video from Jen about a, a few days ago, maybe a week ago. And in the video, she's in her car, and she just starts the video by saying, "You know how doorways are a portal." And then, she, as she's talking. Um, it's really noisy outside and like a tr- big truck comes past or, or something happens and there's just a big noise and so she's like oh just just let me shut the door because she had her car door open so she closes the car door and then she's like so you know how doorways are a portal and then um, continues what she wanted to say but it's like the, the timing of that thing happening was just perfect she was talking about you know doorways and portals and then that big noise from the truck or whatever it was just happened to happen at the exact right time that she had to sort of like repeat what she was saying almost as if to emphasize it but but also adding to that there was like a very literal physical thing that happened which was she was closing a door so almost like closing a portal um, I found that quite funny, and um, yeah, so, so things like that happen. And then um, I was also watching a video from uh, Nechekita, I think is his name, and um, in it, he's he's walking along, he's going down this path, and. Um, he decides to go down a different track and as he's um, instead of going down his normal path something happens the road is sealed off or whatever he takes this different track and he starts going down there and then as he's going down there um, it just gets more and more difficult and construction workers are like no you can't go down this way and he's like oh what do I do then so then they're like oh you just go through here and then go around there and you'll be right so he, he cuts through like all this grass and stuff and he goes through this really difficult uncharted path it's like not even a it's not a path it's not a road it's, it's just like he has to go through all these shrubs and all these difficult obstacles but anyway in that video he's talking to everyone and and, he, and he's like asking the question what is it that differentiates us and he, do, he never gets to the end of his question because he just keeps getting like distracted by all these physical things happening all these complications that are slowing him down and um and he's like, you know, what is it that differentiates us? I suppose he means from, from everyone else. And um, I'm sure he was going to share his view. But, but, but the, to me, it was like very um, physical, symbolic, quite literal. Um, th- it was almost like the universe was, was answering him at that exact point in time that he was asking the question. Because for me, I could I could almost like see the answer. He was going, you know, what is it that differ- differentiates us from others? And and you could see him battling on this path and going on this this difficult this difficult path, this difficult journey, just to get to his de- destination. And sure, might, might have just been a small detour, but he was prepared to take that detour. He was prepared to go down that difficult. Um, route and for him that was you know just one of those things like he he would do that because he you know that's just what he chose and perhaps others perhaps what differentiates us from others is that we're prepared to take different paths 
and, or maybe we decided to take a different path and everyone else is just taking the, the very well-worn road or highway to somewhere or path they're, they're taking very standard paths and they're taking very you know not that that's necessarily a bad thing or a good thing they just they just decided to walk that road and, and, and they're following the same path that many many others have followed but perhaps we we go off the beaten path sometimes we, we, we have chosen or we choose to to do something different maybe that's what differentiates us and so the, the answer for me was like very literal in in my face like I could see it as as he was talking he was asking the question the answer was like right there so it was like a message from the universe almost but the funny thing was he he asked the question a couple of minutes after he started walking down this this path so he'd, he'd already he'd already decided to 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 do that and he hadn't made the connection in his mind of course of like what's what um differentiates us and all of that and then the whole like literal physical walking down a path he he it, it just so happened that it worked out that way and he'd chosen to go down that path a couple of minutes prior to him asking that question but if but but for me like time doesn't always work in a linear way and so for me him asking that question in the present almost like it almost like helped him choose or gave him the opportunity to be in that exact place at that exact time a few minutes prior that he had the opportunity to 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 take that um that other path and go down that different route and it's almost like if he hadn't asked the question would he have even had that situation happen in the first place you know what i mean it's almost like his his present almost like influenced his past decision or or or, or happenstance of, of being in that position in order to make that decision for himself so that's just some interesting things that i've noted lately and um one other thing that was interesting for me is that um um, early in the week, I don't know, I can't remember why, but some, something led me down, you know, one thought led to another, led to another, led to another. And I ended up, um, I ended up looking at my name on Google and um, like the English version of my name. I ended up searching it and seeing what it meant. And I've done this for a couple of other people's names just to see like the historic meaning of someone's name. What did it mean like hundreds of years ago or what's the what's the like reasoning behind a particular name because these days we just kind of like choose names but we don't really think about them they're just names but like you know hundreds of years ago maybe they had a bit more meaning to them um so i looked up my name and I'm sure I've done this like a couple of times in the past, but not for not for years and years. But I, I just opened up like the, the very first one that I saw, the very first like website that just seemed to look good and seemed to like have enough detail. And it's going into all these different aspects of my name. It's not just giving me like a paragraph or two or like blah, 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 blah. That's it like you would normally find for a name this one was like it was like a couple of paragraphs for each each thing so it's going like um in terms of like intelligence this and in ter- uh, you know in terms of tel- intelligence i uh, people with this name are like this in terms of like um spiritual spirituality um people with this name are like that in terms of like um interaction with others people with this name act like that and then all these different topics so um yeah those are just three like intelligence and spirituality and interacting with others but like they went into like a whole bunch of different things and (laughs) i'm just like reading this and i just couldn't stop reading because um i'm like oh yeah that that describes me perfectly and then I looked at the next one and I'm like, that describes me perfectly. And I read the next one, like, 
that's exactly me. Like, oh, I, I read the whole thing. Like, I, I started like in the middle and then I read to the bottom and then I, it was so interesting that I went right back to the top and I read the whole, the whole summary of people with my name act like this and that's their type of character and these are the sort of situations that they deal with and I'm like this is exactly my life like <laughs> um, it doesn't it doesn't describe everything about me but um, everything that they wrote um, like maybe 85% or 90% of it I can like directly relate to as being of me in this body in my experiences and then there's like maybe five percent that I couldn't really relate to so much and then there's about ten percent that like um, I'm not sure because I haven't been in that situation yet like um, certain things in life I haven't experienced yet and so I don't know how I would um, be in that situation but um, what they what they said for people in that situation kind of feels like this type of thing for me like it it kind of feels about right for how I would be if I was it it kind of matches how I expect I would be in that situation even though I haven't experienced it myself so um, I'm I'm talking a little bit um, I'm not getting giving very specific details here um, because I don't like to reveal everything on YouTube but um, but hopefully you get the point so like the for me it was just it was just really amazing to read all that and at the end of it I'm just like wow like I've just completely followed this path that matches my name and it's like all the things that I've experienced in my life it's almost like it was pre-planned or predetermined to you know it's, it's almost like by having this name, it, it put me on a particular road or journey and I could pick different paths along that general road or journey. But, um, but the things that, yeah, it, not, not the experiences that happen along the way. It's almost like I can, ex- I can choose the experiences that, that happen and I can make certain choices along my path. But it, it felt like, but but the character that I play, like imagine I'm 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 an actor in a in a in a story or an, an actor in a movie or an actor in a play. Um, there's Shakespeare there, and he's writing the script, for example, and I'm just an actor acting it out, and I'm not even my whole life I'm not even aware that I'm the actor until recently, and yet. I look back now and I'm like, oh, there's this this character with this name that's like being all pre pre written. This character thinks this way, acts this way, um, does things this certain, f- follows these certain routines, and like I've just I've cho- chosen that character and I've just been playing it out perfectly, and. Um, the interesting thing as well is that like I I always um, didn't really plan to like if someone told me oh you know you're going to you're going to follow a certain routine I'd be like no I don't want to follow that routine <laughs> like I want to be I want to be like a little bit different you know like I don't I don't necessarily want to be like living out in the woods or be a hermit or like be completely removed from society but I don't want to like I never wanted to be a hundred percent exactly the same as everyone else I like to have it my, like my own kind of um, being a little bit weird in my own way and that's okay with me and I and I and I like that um, and so it, it's almost like I felt like um, I would I, I thought that I would have picked situations that I would be deviating away from my character. I would be, I would be going away from the scripts. I would be going and doing things that are, that are off script or not, not, not as planned. I thought I would be um, 
one of the people, yeah, that would, that would, you know, not, not do it exactly as it's, as it's predetermined, and I would, I would try and be someone, someone different, and then I look back, and I'm like, <laughs> I've, I've actually just been doing exactly, exactly what I should have been doing, according to this name of my character, which is fascinating. And there's a quote from a, a kid's movie, uh, not a movie, a kid's TV show. The TV show was on air like maybe 10 or 15 years ago. It was um, Avatar The Last Airbender, and it's a cartoon. Um, and the quote is from the knowledgeable old guy, and it's, it's something, it goes something along the lines of um, one often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it and that that's what I thought of when I came into this situation the other day it's like I've been trying to avoid my destiny and yet I I've met it on the path that I've taken to avoid it so one often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it